Hey guys, what's up? No Eric here, also known as Knows or Learn, and in this video I'm going to be covering the well, part of the March 13th, 2012 update, which is uh, the Lodestones. And uh, what Lodestones are, are pretty much teleport locations that you can reach by uh, using your home teleport. And they're unlocked by going to where they actually are and then uh, like activating them. So, uh, they're really helpful for skillers, especially free-to-play skillers, because they don't really have a, like a teleport tablets that members do. So yeah, I'm really happy about this update. So I'm going to show you where they all are. So there's seven free-to-play teleport locations, and there's eight members, so there's 15 total. Uh, I'm just going to be covering the free-to-play ones right now, because uh, I'm free-to-play, and that's like really helps us the most. So in free to play there's Alcari Teleport, a Verac one, Edgeville, Valador, Drainer Village, and Port Serum, and of course like the basic Lumbridge one. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm right beer <laughs> I'm right by Edgeville, so I'm just gonna show you what they look like and yeah. So uh, the lodestones will be marked by this purple symbol on the map. You can see my mini-map is a purple and white symbol there. So this is what they actually look like. Uh, each different town has like their own uh, crest on it, whatever you can see, the four corners. So yeah, and uh, once you activate it, it will light up. So that's how you know it's activated. And you also get a task. There's like uh, 15 new tasks you can do by unlocking these are activating these load, uh, lodestones. Uh, so I'm going to open up the world map and show you exactly where the free-to-play locations are for the lodestones. So in Edgeville, obviously it's right here. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's the best one because it's the uh, like hardest place to get to, really. Like the longest place to take if you're walking. Uh, I guess you could take the canoe, but... Uh, yeah, because um, any other place like Falador and stuff, you can use the Clan Vexilum Teleport, which is pretty close, and Port Serum, stuff like that. So yeah, this is probably my favorite one. And also, it uh, I'm not really sure about like helping scaling, but uh, I might test it out making body talismans, because you can uh, run from the bank there, and then instead of running all the way back, you can just tele to the lodestone, and then walk to the bank. It might up a bit. Okay, so uh, here's the Falador one. It's right by the resting spot. I don't know how this would help. I guess for me, I go to the Gamer's Grotto for Pistic Ethics a lot, so it actually helps me get there a lot quicker. Uh, here's Port Serum one. Um, I kind of like how you can tell you all the way to Port Serum. It's usually like a really far place away. And also, it might be able to this marker. Uh, it might be able to help when you're fishing lobsters. I don't know. Since there's that new guy who knows it, but uh, you can fish your shit on Karajama and then or Karamja, and then uh, tell you to dunge and then bank and then tell you back to here and take the boat. It might might be quicker. I'm not sure. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there's Port Serum and there's one in Drainer Village. It's right above Morgan's house, uh, just right below Drainer Manor. Um, uh, yeah, this could help a bit, I'm not really sure. Uh, skillers don't really go around here much. Um, what else? Yeah, the Lumbridge one's still there. Well, I guess, I don't know why the little stone's there. Usually home tellies. Maybe it's someplace else, I don't know. So Al Carid is another pretty good one, because before you had to walk from Lumbridge or take the boat from Damonheim. So yeah, it could uh, just help transportation-wise, save some time. And here's a Varrock one. Uh, it's probably the one I use use the most because uh, I usually go to the Grand Exchange a lot, or uh, just I don't know. I like the bank there. Could all help, also help on skilling. People like to mine. Maybe a silver here or iron there. Maybe to uh, make things faster. I'm not sure. And I'm, am I missing any? I think I got all of them. Uh, so yeah, and uh, 
that's pretty much it for lodestones. So yeah, I just wanted to cover that because it's really helpful for free to play skillers, especially me because I like to teleport around places. I don't know how much, like I said, I don't know how much it'll uh, help experience rates, but I'll play around with it and if I make guides, I'll include some methods with the loads because they might help a lot. Uh, a little, another thing, like if you tele teleport there, it kind of changes the mode a bit. You like, I don't know, you move around more. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Just a little small thing they changed. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the vid. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see you later.